Good morning, it is Sunday. We did not go on our early morning walk this morning. We opted to have a lion until 6.30. Oh my goodness. Um, and now it is, I think just after 10, and I'm still in my pajamas. You may be able to hear that I'm running a bath. Um, so I'm gonna go have that. I thought I would film a very casual vlog today. I'm gonna do some reading. I really want to make a lemon meringue pie. I don't think that I have the ingredients that I need but I still would like to try and substitute things. So let's see if that will be a disaster or not. I don't know. Um, so yeah, just a cozy one today. Um, and we've been playing Jaipur this morning, which is a new card game that we got. And I love it. It's so much fun. It's really fast paced, really good for two people and really affordable too. I think it was 13 pounds. And so I very much recommend this. Mr. M is not a very good loser. This was his face before we played, feeling all optimistic that he was going to win. And then this is his face when he lost. <laughs> um, so yeah, that has been our morning so far. And um, I'll check in with you throughout the day, show you what we're up to. Going to do my nails as well, because they are terrible. <laughs> um, someone asked what I do um, with my nails. I use uh, the OPI, oh, is this on automatic? Are you gonna focus? Yeah, I use the OPI Nail Envy as a base coat, whatever nail color on top, and then the number seven Stay Perfect top coat from Boots. I think I might go for bright pink today. Mr. M and I are gonna start playing this game as well, which is a series of mysteries you have to solve, kind of like escape rooms, I suppose, and all Sherlock Holmes themed, which sounds very fun. Well, Courtney was a dynamic individual, always busy, forever on the move, yet he had the unique ability to make 10 minutes spent with you seem like an hour. So complete was his attention on you. Of course, his charm worked like a magic potion on the ladies. You said he was married? asked Watson with a raised eyebrow. Oh yes, poor Beatrice. Mr. M is being very diligent and typing up all of our case notes, which is... I'm, I'm very impressed by this dedication. While he's doing that, I'm gonna make us some lunch. If you would like a recipe for this bread, it's the same one I made last weekend. And if you would like a recipe for the soup, I've also made this before in a video, so I'll link both of those videos in the description box down below. I'm going to read. Realize that I accidentally matched my nails to it. I feel like, given this is a book about a year of being inside, now is a good time. And by a good time, I mean a good time to read the book. It's definitely not a good time in any other sense. Also, yes, I am effectively wearing a duvet. I got this in Japan and it's super cozy. Time to make lemon meringue pie. First, I've got to make the pastry and leave it to chill. I used to just kind of, whenever an idea came to me, I would just work on it. But now that's not gonna happen. And I think even if they lift the lockdown by May, we won't be able to have like gatherings like that. <laughs> I've actually seen some people do whole videos where it's a come read with me and it's like an ASMR room but you're reading in it and I think that this might be quite a nice spot to film one of those so a half hour video where literally I'm just reading I'm not reading to you I'm sitting and reading but it's a calming video and if you want 30 minutes to read alongside me you can do so would you like me to film that because I feel like it might be just I don't know, it's the kind of thing that I like, um, as I've mentioned the Harry Potter ASMR rooms before. If you think that would be your cup of tea, let me know. And I, I might film that later this week or next week. I think the pastry will have finished chilling now, so let's go make the filling. Okay, so it's been cooling and now it's time to cut it. The moment of truth. All right, I think it might still be a little bit warm. 
inside. You know what? That's not terrible, guys. That looks okay to me. I have to do a taste test though, obviously. Mmm. Mm, that's really good. Is it really good? Yeah. No, it's really, no, it tastes like, you can expect a lemon meringue pie to taste, but you know, it's spot on. Yay! Oh, good. Do you want me to give you a proper piece of it? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it's good. I think probably I was slightly impatient. I should have let it sat, sit for a bit longer because I think that it needs to cool a bit more. But we can let the rest cool a bit more. We'll have some more later. It's just an excuse to eat some more. So the first round is general bookish knowledge. The second round is pi a picture round, and that is of book covers. The third round is Harry Potter conversations. The fourth round is book to TV and film adaptations. And then we're gonna end on best selling books. That was a nice thing to do when we got back from our walk this morning. I did Lauren's quiz, or I'm bending down so you can see me, Lauren's quiz from last night. Um, it went live at eight. In the, in the evening and that was too close to our bedtime because we're getting up so early so I decided to do it this morning when we got back from our walk at half six and um, yeah it was lots of fun and I got oh I don't want to show answers for anyone who wants to do it 41 out of 50 which I think is not that bad I will link the quiz down below it's a bookish quiz there are five rounds lots of fun thanks Lauren I'm gonna uh, get showered and um, start work for the day now I know that it looks like I haven't got changed at all because I'm just wearing another set of dungarees and a t-shirt, but this is just my uniform now. Dungarees, well, it's, I was gonna say because of lockdown, dungarees have been my uniform for quite a long time now. I thought I would stretch the vlog into today because I didn't really talk much yesterday. I just showed what we were getting up to. Um, so I thought I would check in um, before signing off about um, what I'm reading and what I'm up to this week so i did start reading my year of rest and relaxation yesterday you saw that and um, i've only read the first 50 or so pages i know that it's beloved by many and i didn't know too much about it before going in and i haven't read her other books i think she got um i know she's got eileen does she have a short story collection as well did i make that up Yes, she does. So I've only read 50 pages of this so far and it's really reminding me of Nell Stevens. And Nell Stevens is someone who I always recommend to people who have read and loved Sally Rooney's Conversations with Friends. So it falls into that circle of um, hyper aware of itself, over the top, intellectual in a very deliberate, sarcastic way with a host of messed up characters. Um, Yes, so I'll talk about it more once I've read more. Um, the last book that I read and loved was Hamlet by Maggie O'Farrell, which was actually, I say the last book, like that was ages ago, it was last week, but what is time? Um, I loved Hamlet so much, uh, and I'll speak about that in a wrap up. Um, and I'm hoping to be hosting an Instagram Live with Maggie O'Farrell for Toast, as I did with Evie Wilde last month. And they have put the Evie Wilde event that I did um, over on the Toast IGTV. So if you missed the event that I did with her and you would like to hear us talk about the Bass Rock, I'll link that down below. But hopefully Maggie and I will be talking about Hamlet. And mostly I think it will consist of me crying and saying, how could you do this to my soul? Um, in a beautiful way. So that would be the, that's the trailer right there for the interview. I'm mostly writing today, but something that I need to do, I'm looking around me because it involves looking around me, is to go through my bookshelves and pick out books to text to the BBC. So I do a slot on BBC Five Live once a month, and that slot is this Wednesday, and I am gonna be talking about books with predictions in them. 
Um, so I need to pick out the books that I want to talk about just so that they know in advance what I'm going to be talking about. But it's a bit of a test. I like to think of it as a quiz that I have accidentally set for myself because a third of all of my books, at least a third, are in storage. Storage that I could access, but it's, it's difficult to do that. It's in a very, uh, I was going to say very dusty attic. It's not an attic. It is essentially a glorified cupboard. But then attics are glorified cupboards anyway, aren't they? Anyway, the, a third of my books are in bags, the far end of a very dusty place. Um, so I'm trying to remember the books that are in there and whether or not any of those have predictions in. So that is part of my task for the day alongside um, writing the book that I'm working on at the moment. And something that I'm also doing this week, in case you would like to check it out, is I am going back to doing Instagram Lives at 3 p.m. BST every day. I did that for three weeks and then took a week off. I was reading Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and Through the Looking Glass at 3 p.m every day and we went through both books and it was a lot of fun um and those of you who were listening in live were playing an emoji game where if i mentioned a word and there was a corresponding emoji you were putting it in the comments and i loved that um so i took a break for a week because i had a sore throat after reading two books um out loud this week at 3 p.m every day i'm reading bits from my own books so today i'm going to be reading from the bookshop book going to be talking about bookshops all around the world and the amazing people who run them um i'm also going to do some poetry readings on another day i'm going to read one of my children's books on one day a short story one day so that's what this week is going to be and then next week I'm going to start reading another novel in full. Um, perhaps Pride and Prejudice but I haven't decided. We shall see. It's quite a, a lot longer than Alice's Adventures in Wonderland so I'm going to have to think about it. Um, and also find my copy because it may be one that's in the attic glorified cupboard. I'm not sure. Anyway. I'm going to love you and leave you and crack on with work and I will upload this tonight. I hope that you guys are doing okay. I hope this video is like a hug from me to you and I will speak to you very soon. Lots of love. Bye.